Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to show you what's going on with the repair so far. But before I do, let me just give you a summary of what happened in the previous video. Okay, so this has completely dried, okay? I haven't sanded this thing down yet, so I can put more layers of uh, fiberglass material. So let me show you what I've done because I already did it and I didn't really film it. So what I did is that I grabbed this template. You see how it fits, okay? Right, I know it's a weird shape and this is why a lot of people like circles or squares because it's a lot easier. This is not, but because this is in my own home and this is a DIY, DIY uh, episode, I'm gonna show you that you can do all kinds of weird shapes, okay? Okay, so this is a template and I cut the fiber material into, like, into this shape. And I cut two pieces and stack them on top of each other. That way I can get a nice backing, something that to support the rest of the materials that I'm gonna put. Now if you look at this, you realize that there are hills and valleys on here and it's, you know, you have all these dimples and little weird things, you're right? And you have to fill these things, okay? You can't have them like that. Make it nice and flush. That way I can start adding bigger pieces on top and of course it's gonna fill everything in, sand it down, and that's pretty much the process. That's what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now what's gonna happen with all these little layers. One hundred fifty grit, okay. Now I'm going to be using some alcohol over here, and just to clean this area up. This is some isopropyl alcohol. All right, so now that the that the area is clean, I can go ahead and start adding some fiberglass material. I'm going to go ahead and lay down a paper so I can dry it and make my template. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, cut this shape. As you can see, it's not as weird as before. Sometimes you'll have these little drips. I like to have this uh, product handy. You know, just wipe it down before it gets hard. That way you don't have to worry about getting it off later, okay? I have to put the big one now. See how this one covers more? Yeah. I do this as fast as I can because I can see that it's already setting. You can see it's turning into jelly already. So I better hurry up. Stuff is good. Okay. I think it was going to get up there. So here's a tip. Mask. Even the areas you think you're not even going to reach. Because the last thing you want is this stuff to get hard on areas where you don't want this crap to be. I'm going to let it sit and in a couple of, uh, maybe in a day or so, this should be ready for sanding and see if I missed any low areas. I can go ahead and start the next process. This is a little wet, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, masking here off a little bit you don't want that okay now that it's all dry I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all this little area because it looks like it looks like this stuff is uh, 
see how this stuff is not supposed to be there. I'm gonna go clean up all this crap. But it is nice and hard and it's and it looks flat, but there's areas where I still have to add more material. I'll find out once I clean it up. Alright, so I went ahead and sanded this thing down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. As you can see there's a So you'll notice that there's still all this really weird stuff, right? And you think, well, what's next? Well, this is where the, the body filler comes along. You start filling all these little pinholes and imperfections. I got this product from Amazon. And this is what it is. It's the 3M Marine Primer Filler. I'm going to go ahead and use this. And it comes with a hardener inside. All right, so I'm about to apply some of this stuff. I mix some. I'll show you. How I do it, maybe? Alright, so I didn't want to get ahead of myself. So what's going on right now is that I applied it with this right here. Because it's straight and it's sturdy. And enables me to have the same uh, perfect... It's It's... It's not as flimsy as the other application when I first started. This one is really good when it comes down to really making it very nice and, and straight. For these little things, I'm gonna go ahead and use the machine. I'm gonna show you in a minute what I'm gonna talk about. After doing this by hand, of course, I used a power tool, an air tool that really made things so much easier. If you have one, use it. 